man like you to play it makes a place in town where rugby dreams come true Y ahora, señoras y señores, en el Planet Max Show, quiero presentarles a la estrella del programa, Max Welcome, eh? <laughs> the thing is, I mean, it's building up by Friday, not so far now. And, I mean, we're building up, and it's the same. It's the same all over Wales. Wherever you go, there's a bunting, bunting in the streets, and the shops are full of photographs. And it was so disappointing, like the last time in South Africa. So, so disappointing the last. It's got, it's got to be better. I remember before, before we went, you know, we went, I went to local doctors to get all like inoculations and the jabs for, and we did for like cholera and typhoid and like black fever and yellow death, all, all these things, big needle, right? And, and, and we, we went, we, we, you know, we went, we went to South Africa and what we said was like, what we said was like, we, we'd follow, we'd follow the team for as long as they were in the competition. Right? So... <laughs> we went out to the trees and we went back on the Friday. <laughs> I mean, I hadn't even finished my malaria tablets. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, the doctor told you, right? Whatever you do, right? Whatever you do, if you start the course, right? You, you've got to finish the tablets, right? <laughs> Or you'll cast malaria off the tablets. This is... So I had these two boxes full of malaria tablets. So I was back in Glynis, like pouring rain, lashing down, wind and snow, and me taking malaria tablets. <laughs> and we played, we played, we played Ireland, right? And we lost. We lost in the first round. We lost in the first round. And people are asking me, was I, was I disappointed that we lost to Ireland? I said, I didn't mind. I didn't mind losing to Ireland. At least I knew what it was. <laughs> I mean, four years ago, you know, 1995, BG. <laughs> Before Graham. You got it, you got it. Yeah, I know you didn't expect you to get it. Anyway, this, this, you know, we lost to Ireland. And I said, I didn't mind, I didn't mind. Because, I mean, the, 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 before we lost the, the World Cup, we lost to Western Samoa. <laughs> nobody in Glenys knew what it was. <laughs> well, you know, nobody, nobody in Western Samoa, no, no, it doesn't matter. And, and, and yet we beat them. When it didn't matter, right? When it, when it was in the World Cup, we beat them in Western Samoa on this sun baked ground fringed by palm trees. I, I remember ringing home to my mother, I said, uh, hello, hello, Bach, where are you? I, I, I said, I'm, I'm in Western Samoa, ma'am. Oh, she said, what's it like there? I said, it's 130 in the shade, ma'am. Oh, she said, stay out of the shade, whatever you do, she said. <laughs> Game, right? We, we, had, we had this dinner, right? And the, 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 the captain, the captain of Western Samoa, could speak a huge profile with a neck of that, right? And he, he had a bone through his nose, right? He was, he was from Ponty originally. <laughs> and he said, he said, he said, he said, he didn't mind losing to Wales, he said, because it is a Welsh missionary that brought Christianity to the island. <laughs> I said, what happened to me? He said, we ate him. <laughs> we ate him. 
So you said he didn't mind losing to Wales, he said, because there's a little bit of Welsh in all of us. That's what he said. As, as you know, the BBC haven't got sort of uh, coverage of this World Cup, um, but here on Planet Max we've got some, some very special footage of what, what happens behind the scenes in the showers. The imposter's up, my friend. Yeah, there you go, copper. You seem to go all right today. Yeah, fair dinkum, no problem. The gaffer was as happy as a dingo and a dungy. <laughs> oh, sorry, boys. I, I thought these are the Welsh showers. Yeah, it's the one, mate. No worries. You're in the right place. In fact, we're just about to have a bit of a sing song. Yeah. Okay, Jay, Spread, call in, boys, ready. Right. One, two, three. Every day when I wake up. <laughs> We'll be bringing you more exclusive footage like that here on Planet Max <laughs> as, as, uh, as the tournament develops. Um, looking back, you know, at uh, um, this year, I think, I think our fortune changed in, in, in Paris. You know, that last minute kick. <sighs> oh, God. Right? And, and, and you know, we, we beat France for the first time in, in 25 years. And then we beat them again sort of, what, a couple of weeks ago. I think we should play them all the time, you know. <laughs> I, I, I don't... We should, we should, we should! You know, we should play them. We, we should play them every day and maybe twice on Wednesdays and Saturdays. <laughs> oh, you're going to watch a matinee today against France? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we should, we should, we should! And then, of course, then, of course, after that, Came Wembley. Yeah! That, was, that was a magic day, right? And afterwards, right? We went after the after the um, after the game was over. I went to uh, I went down the sort of down down the, the street, uh, Wembley Way, right? And we went on this Cumberland Terrace, right? And it, I, I thought all the boys are gone, right? But I walked in, right? And, and there was all these boys from Abercrombie and Rugby Club. Max, Max, how's it going, Max? Why, why, why? <laughs> it, was, and it was it was a place, right? It was a place selling baked potatoes, the place called the Spud Pub, right? And they were selling like baked potatoes with all different different fillings. We'd have all like hundreds all the wall, these all these big chopped up things, all different fillings. So you have a new baked potato, right? And, and, and there's a bar as well. And I walked in, these lads recognized me and said, hey Max! Max, 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 come here, Max, Max, sign my potato, will you? <laughs> to Kylie with love. <laughs> Kylie! Anyway, then, so, so, so okay. anyway, the bloke, the bloke in the bar, right? The bloke in the bar was like a Chinese guy, right? So he saw me inside the potato and said, Why? Why you like name? Hon potato. <laughs> I, I said they, they, they I said they're from Mount Nash. They, they, I said they, they want they want in my order. Like, Why you want Hona? I said, well, I said they, they, they know me. You Fima person. <laughs> well, well, you know, re re relatively I suppose. I said, why you why you do? I said, well, I'm a, I'm a Canadian. <gasps> he said, you mean you can change colour? <laughs> hey, what are you parching with that stuff for? I want to make those Tonga fellas feel at home. Have you seen that Tamanolo? Mm. I thought that was posh fish paste. That's tamanolo thick oh. No, I came in search of paradise and found him playing fullback forever veil. Oh. Hey, I came, I saw a tongue and I came, I saw a tongue and da na na na. Woo! Well, someone, someone who shared in that. Absolute joy, I'm sure, of that historic win, the last of the Five Nations at Wembley. Someone I know will have 
a wonderful, wonderful welcome. Please welcome Mr. Graham Henry. Glad you came. <laughs> um, looking back at Wembley, that was obviously uh, because I sang before as well, and the, the historic significance of the fixture. And uh, was it as a New Zealander? Was that special for you as well? Oh goodness, yes. Um, well, just to win is everything, in, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I know the Welsh want to beat the English. <laughs> And I, I got that message. <laughs> I got that message several times <laughs> before the game. But no, I just, I was just delighted for the guys. They showed so much character in that game. Oh, they didn't play well, Max. Quite frankly, <laughs> oh, you Welsh people don't understand really. <laughs> but no, I was just delighted because they showed a lot of tenacity, a lot of character hanging in there against the odds. And uh, Scott and did the magic, and Neil kicked the goal, and marvellous. I think we've got a. I think we've got a. I think the air is magic. Uh, we're talking about. We're talking about uh, Scott Gibbs. Right? I think we've got a, a clip of that. The last uh, magical. I can watch this forever. We just watch his last. Three forwards in the lineup, and it's been left to Chris Wyatt, and how well he did that again. Scott Twinell. I was, I was so euphoric after that, right? I was, everybody was like hugging and kissing each other. And we've got, and we've got a, we've got a shot of Graham as well, sharing in that absolute pure ecstasy. <laughs> that was cool. That was cool. Oh, Max, David, <laughs> David Pickering is sitting next to me, the Welsh manager. He kissed me. <laughs> I said, for goodness sake, settle down, Dave. <laughs> like, there's still three minutes to go. Yeah. Like, there's only two people who knew the score. There was three minutes to go. It was that lovely girl, Raywin, yeah. and her husband sitting in the stand who were thinking, hell, there's three minutes to go, we can lose this thing. That's correct. And everybody else was crying and kissing. <laughs> No logic at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, but it was, it was pretty special. I mean, uh, oh. the last five nations and all that. Oh, do, you think, do, you think we take, do you think we take the game too seriously, Mills, then? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, I think it's marvellous. I think the attitude is marvellous, as long as it was logical and rational. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you can't expect too much, Max. No, not really. No. Do you know, we've warmed you um, as a nation like nobody else that I, that I know. What has, what has warmed you to us? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I just think that everybody that I've met has been so totally friendly. And I think that's just the whole of the Welsh nation. It's very accommodating, it's very friendly towards everybody who comes to Wales and they feel comfortable here. And that's what the Henry family feels. Yeah, right. We feel comfortable in, in the Welsh culture, in the Welsh society, in Wales in general. My last question to you. If you were to pick a player from another era, from the past, to join the squad, not to replace anyone, right? Who would you choose first, a Welsh player and perhaps a player from overseas? Oh, that's a silly question. <laughs> Look, all these guys are watching. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought you were a straight and honest man, Mr. Well, Henry. Yeah. Well, I am, I, but I want to make sure the guys... Like, I said, Gareth Henry. What's Rob going to think? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's with him? Like, Gerald Davis. 
what's Alfie going to think and Dad? If I said Barry John, what's the boot going to think? Yeah. If I said Delmi Thomas, yeah. well, you know, but I, I would say, um, is it Di? Di Morris, yeah. Di Morris. Yeah. Yeah. Character. No, I did. He was. Uh, he was a. He had character. A and you can't. You can't buy character at the chemist, can you? Can't buy anything. You can't. You can't buy what you've got, as I say. Well, following that to Wembley uh, game we spoke about earlier, I wrote a song about the occasion and, uh, more importantly, about you. It's a tribute to what you've achieved so far in Wales and why we are so fond of you. This is. I hope you like it. Anyway, it's, uh, it's a song from the heart, and hope you enjoy it. Tear fell from Graham Henry's eye. In a far and foreign field, in a green and pleasant land, where Wembley's famous towers twin the sky, I knelt in silent grace when they took me to the place where the tear fell from Graham Henry's eye. travel far, led by that shining star, to where the tear fell from Graham Henry's eye. his tear ducks removed <laughs> now I know it can't be proved he's had his tear ducks removed and no one thought we'd ever see him cry but a tear so divine Fell like water turned to wine when the tear 
She'd been crippled all her life. He laid her on the ground and heaved a sigh. He said, I've got to rest a while. I've carried her from pile. <laughs> to where the tear fell from Graham Henry's eye. Where the tear fell from Graham Henry's eye. One day, and some words will simply say where the tear fell from Graham Henry's eye. Well, he laid her gently there with such loving, tender care, and I swear to God until the day I die that she. And walked away for oh, the place on which she lay was where the tear fell from Graham Henry's eye. Where the tear fell from Graham Henry's eye on the day that I remember till I And we'll place a stone one day And some words will simply say And a tear fell from Graham Henry's eye And the sound of empty chariots fill the sky Outside Planet Max, and I've managed to track down Mr. Ray Jones of the WRU ticket office. Mr. Jones. Hello. The ticket controversy continues. Can you tell us exactly what happens when the ticket applications arrive? Yeah. Yeah, we, we open the envelopes and take the checks out, and then we record the amounts, uh, and we bank the checks. But uh, what about the tickets? Sorry? Well, the people write to the WRU enclosing money you must know that they expect something in return. Oh, ah, yeah. In return, they get the warm feeling of satisfaction of knowing that they have supported the Welsh Rugby Union. Thank you. But, but what if they want to watch a game? Sorry? What if they want to watch a game? Well, they turn the television on. But they want tickets to come to the stadium. Do they? Well, they think that if they send you cheques, you'll send them match tickets. That's not their secret weapon. <laughs> Lee was asking me earlier had I been to Argentina. I have been. I also went to the Falklands, and that was a fantastic experience. And uh, went out there, and and it's it's so it is so cold and desolate. 
and, 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 and they are so bored, the lads out there are so bored. And they've got these fields and fields full of penguins. And, and to entertain themselves, the troops, they fly these Hercules sort of aircraft, very slow, slow aircraft. And they fly over these thousand, all the penguins are, are sort of facing one way, away from the wind. And they're, they're all against, they're all against. And, 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 and the planes go slowly over the guy. And, and they, they, they're so inquisitive, the, guy, the, the penguins go against. <laughs> and they all, they all, they all, they all fall over, right? And, and what they call it? Penguin bowling. <laughs> We're going, to, we're going to finish up by uh, singing a song I've, I've written for the World Cup. Uh, you all know the chorus, and uh, I'm sure we'd all like to wish the lads and Graham all the very best on Friday, eh? Yeah. Yes, we'll try, we'll try the chorus first, OK? And we were singing Farewell to Wembley yeah! and, and to that foreign climb And now we're back in Cardiff Cos Lang's finished it on time yeah! They say it's got a sliding roof That they can move away They'll slide it back when whales attack So God can watch us play and There we beat the Springboks yeah! on, on that historic day And then they came with forklift trucks and took the pitch away <laughs> And the place where young Mark Taylor scored To seal that famous win Is growing in some garden now Where they charge you to go in and I never will forget And the ginger monster and his sheep yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're taken to the vet <laughs> yeah, I think it's brilliant The only thing that worries me, right? I think, you know, children copy it I can see English children wa wa watching this, right? And Easter time in the Brecon Beacons They'd be saying, darling, mummy, are we... Mummy, are we, are we in Wales? Yes, yes. Oh, look, look, there's a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> the day against the school I never will forget. And the ginger monster and his sheep are celebrating yet. I saw him score his famous try when his ears fell on the grass. And then he placed that poor sheep and kicked it between the posts. <laughs> Under me were singing in the night, land of my fathers. The Welsh team's full of accents now, strange and somewhat new. <laughs> There's Kiwis and Australians, to mention just a few. I think we'll have a Japanese before the World Cup's end Cos Shiggy Kono's father works for Sony in Britain So here's to our new stadium where the flags are all unfurled And all the painted faces Of the peoples of the world Will fill the air with singing eye On this historic day Cos the World Cup's come to Cardiff And there it just might stay and